So today we're at Empress Palace. Um, I'm having dinner with the father. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd catch him while, you know, he's at work. <laughs> I mean, I want us to catch up. I want us to talk about a few things. Um, and hopefully, you know, it'll all go pretty swell. You know, yeah, after this. You need dinner date. We're on a dinner date. <laughs> what do you mean? You need dinner date. Father and son. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. The last time I saw my father was when we went to Cape Town. Um, yeah, we were all together as a family. I want to chill. I'm getting married again. Lord help me. <laughs> me, help me. Yeah, sure. Really? Oh, interesting. I have found the one. <laughs> no, I've found, I've found the two. I've just gone to the place where I've just accepted things, you know, the best thing that I can do at this point is just make sure that like, you know, I am not, you know, emotionally affected by it um, anymore. I spoke to your mother, Jelen Dabayin, Isbong and stuff, and I know which it's been an issue for the longest of time. Where are you? I mean, that's why I wanted us to meet up and, and talk about it. Yeah. Mr. Busy. Okay. Um, <laughs> so. um, well, I just told her, Guti, I, I want to change my surname. You know, you know, I've been wanting to change it for quite some time. Um, but, I mean, if I'm being honest, I just want it to be the, the seamless way of going to go sign and be done with it. Um, and I think it's an issue because you know, she and I'd assume you want me to do things customarily, and I don't want to do that. So that's why it's a... I completely understand what she's saying, and she has every right to feel the way she feels. So, but I have a feeling, Guti, who's over the... the clash line somewhere. I don't... I don't believe in engaging with my ancestors. That's essentially the, the bottom line of it. Um, I mean, you know, I've always respected it. Um, everything. Um, but I just, I think I just respect it. I, I like to understand the things that I'm doing and understand why I'm doing it. Um, and if that reason makes sense to me. I know you, you want me to do things customarily, but, um, you know, it's not necessarily something that I that I believe in. Um, even though Magnum Sevian is in calling as Caesar, um, I do it especially because I honor you and I honor your culture and I respect it. Um, but we believe different things in that sense. So that's why I'm just like, well, in this sense now that it's about me, um, I want to be able to do things, I guess, my way without disrespecting her. So I think she took that very, she didn't take that. She didn't take that well. The thing is, we're basing it on two different beliefs. I guess you believe Hore, my ancestors cannot know me until I'm introduced. I believe Hore, my ancestors already know me. You believe Hore, in order for things to happen. Let me finish my sentence, ma. Okay, so I'm I'm glad we're having this conversation. So I'm two ways about it, So I'm two ways about it. 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 I'm two ways when it comes to you deciding what you want to do with your life in terms of your career. I mean, you you did law and then you wanted to leave law. And I didn't have an issue because at the end of the day, <clears throat> it's your life. You need to be happy. Yeah. You know? So when it comes to tradition and culture, um, I would also not want to impose it on you because it's it's important that we respect, you are an adult, it's important that we respect other people's beliefs. And I can tell you for free one day, and it, you, I might not be around, but one day I will tell you for free, you're gonna look back and go, he was right. But I'm not going to say do it now. When the time comes, you would know when the time comes, when you, there's a light. I used to be like you. 
I complete. I started a um, Rema. <laughs> 1995, 1985, I started a rap. That's how, that's how like me you are. Yes, I was 11. And that's what I knew and I believed. This is the life. But life humbles you. When your ancestors call you, you will have no choice. You, you will touch people literally. <laughs> When your ancestors call you, but you will have to hear the calling. I can't call you on their behalf. What I'm taking from what she's saying, she says she, she understands. She doesn't even believe in them. She, she understands why I would believe, but she's not there. And I respect that. Um, but now the only issue is that she can't have her bread buttered both sides. You win some, you lose some. So that's where the clash is going to be. When, if you understand how tradition, not tradition, culture works, it will complicate a lot of things in Bulaniak. You don't just change this bomb. Um, funege kunye nabata batal uti na ingari yetu sayamugela because. Whether you believe in them or not, there's a part that they're playing in your life that you might not be even aware of. They could be protecting you, they could be guiding you, they could be blessing you in a aunagi. They would one day give you a, a, a wake up call to say, where's Chuaela when? There are sequences that are A, B, C, and D. And that's when you realize, which, damn, that's how I realized, which, damn, these things, they are real. Yeah, bo? So we need to find a common ground that is going to be comfortable for you and that's going to be comfortable for me. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm going to say to you, it's okay, change this bong. Because my phone is change this bong because you, you, you belong from song. My phone is change this bong. But I can't automatically agree with you because then it's going to affect me. Some I can do whatever. I can do whatever. I can do